passive solar house relies on a couple of elements. First of all is the glazing in the house. We want to have a house that has primarily south side glazing with very little glazing on the east, west, and north sides. And we also want to have a very tight shell that's very highly insulated. So that means that the infiltration coming in from the wind blowing in the house is low and that the ability for that house to retain that heat that comes in those south side windows is very high. Another element to a passive house is having what we would call thermal mass inside the envelope. Duracell blocks give us the opportunity to approach a passive solar house in a way that is a unique way to build. It is a concrete wall that has the concrete biased almost all the way to the inside. So that means that most of the insulation is on the outside of those blocks and we can then use that thermal mass of the concrete as part of our energy management strategy. How this works is called the solar thermal flywheel effect. And what happens is that during the daytime when winter sun shines in the south side windows, we get the house being warmed as an effect. But the blocks and the concrete in the walls then also takes that energy and stores it. And as soon as the sun goes down, those blocks have reached their capacity and they start emitting that energy back into the house at night. So it's a way that we can get a lot of heating done by the fact that sunlight energy is just simply shining in the windows.